Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today. I will be talking about Yes Minister, and give you my thoughts about this classic British television sitcom. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. Though I would like to thank John Rendell for suggesting the topic of this video. Now for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of Wikipedia, quote, Yes Minister is a British political satire sitcom written by Anthony Jay and Jonathan Lynn. Comprising three seven-episode series, it was first transmitted on BBC Two from 1980 to 1984, with several episodes being adapted for BBC Radio. The series also spawned a 2010 stage play that led to a new television series on gold in 2013. Set principally in the private office of a British cabinet minister in the fictional Department of Administrative Affairs in Whitehall, Yes Minister follows the ministerial career of Jim Hacker, played by Paul Eddington. His various struggles to formulate and enact policy or effect departmental changes are opposed by the British Civil Service, in particular his permanent secretary, Sir Humphrey Appleby, played by Nigel Hawthorne. His principal private secretary, Bernard Woolley, is played by Derek Folds, and is usually caught between the two. Unquote which sounds all well and good to me, folks. Now on to my personal views on Yes Minister. Now personally, I was aware of Yes Minister prior to the suggestion of John Rendell. Thanks again, by the way. Though it has been a while since I last watched the program through. So after a bit of investigating, which mostly consists of internet browsing, as well as having a rewatch of the show in question, I have found Yes Minister can still hold its own, and it's still a very popular show, despite it being over 40 years since it was first made and released, with a terrific trio in the main cast, as well as many recurring characters who are not out of place. Everyone seems to have given their all, and shows that the quality of the craft of acting was still on point in the early 1980s, continuing onwards into the late 1980s with Yes Prime Minister using the knowledge from those at the top of government in the 1960s and 1970s, prior to the Thatcher era of the 1980s. Though many things have changed since then, the politicians, civil servants, and journalists' tactics and demeanors are still true to this day, as are many issues that they all face, which ensures that Yes Minister will always remain a timeless classic, which many, including myself, will enjoy, at least in my view. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on Yes Minister. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that bears my name, because the truth is reality-based. And check you are still subscribed, folks, because YouTube likes keeping more independent and up-and-coming content creators down while propping up the dying establishment and their allies in the mainstream media. You can also find me on social media, be it on Twitter, Instagram, Rumble, and Kick2. All the links are in the description down below, where you can join me in defending reality and being based in doing so. Suggestions for videos like this one are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no other genders, binaries, tranny demons, or full-blown AIDS demons, bye for now, folks.